Hey guys, John Loxley here. Hope you guys are having a good day, whatever time of day it is. Um, well, let's let's go into this. Resuming our blind playthrough of Middle Earth: Shadow of Mordor. Oh yeah, look at those guys. Yeah, so last time I think we just took out the hammer, which means we have to face the tower at some point. Guy on the left there, and then the uh, the black hand himself, I would imagine. Right about the fifty percent mark. I know you did not come home last night, son. I went to the dead marshes. On a dare. It was a place like no other. Bodies scattered about. They appeared dead, but also alive. Wives to <clears throat> All right. All right, let's take a look at um not not that actually. Right, there's a new war chief. Ogbur one eye. Hmm. Oh right, yeah. Um Still the Graug. That thing is just difficult. Like, just really hard. I mean, I know they're not supposed to be a piece of cake or anything. <laughs> Let's take this dude out and then, uh. And then head below me and work on freeing those other slaves. Dead. Okay, Venom. Many danger. We poisoned the slaver's grog, but he knew we'd done it. Can you help my friends? I would like to. Oh, I see it unlocked. I thought that was the actual slave mission. Um. Well, let's go take this out, or do this. <clears throat> mm. Excuse me. I saw something moving in the shadows. Just been, uh... I don't know what it was, but it might have been... I don't know, just feeling under the weather lately. Hopefully that, uh... You know, hopefully I'll start to feel better here pretty soon. Drinking some... Some kind of tea that's supposed to help with that stuff, so... Let's hope it does. run up here. Take out this gentleman. I mean, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and the archer is above us. Oh, sorry, dude. Did I just knock you down? Okay, and where is that slave freeing mission? Up, oh, even more. I don't know why the dramatic music all of a sudden, but, uh, because I'm pretty sure nobody saw me. Oh. Okay, climb. A uh, climb. There we go. Oh, it's still higher. Jeez. Well then, Venom, emboldened by their victories, the outcasts have dared to poison the Uruk Grog, help them bring swift, swift death to their oppressors. By the way, that joke about the, the drinking game whenever I misspeak words, or mispronounce words. Be careful with that stuff. I, I mess up my words a lot, so uh, yeah, just, you know, drink responsibly if, if that's actually going to be a thing, you know, ever. Um, so yeah, or just don't drink at all. Either way. 
It makes you harder in battle. By the way, what is in the grog anyway? Okay, where does this go? It goes it goes that way. Well then. <laughs> And hopefully they don't Where'd see me. Where do you find poison, slave? I know you're too stupid to make it yourself. Okay, we'll poison Grog right here. That is a archer. Oh, I don't know why I did that, son of a bitch. Just move. We don't leave Grog out so you can play with it. We leave it out so we can drink it. Yeah! Drink it, guys. Drink! Do it. There they go. What is in that stuff anyway? Because we used it to blow up the dark monument. Where did you put it, Blaster Straw? That filth you served him made him rich for a week! Come on, guys. I'm not, uh... I would poison that filth you drink, too! But who could... Okay, come on, come on, come on. I don't want any of them seeing me. I'll just go around this way then. Okay, so there's a slave right there. And uh well We don't leave Grog out so you can play with it. We leave it out so we can drink it. So where is the grog? Oh, hang on. Gotta take care of you, and that there's one more. What did you put in my over here? Help me. I would poison that filth you drink too. But who could tell the difference? What? Did you hear that? No. You, you heard nothing. We've got a killer lurking around. Son of a bitch. Where'd you find poison? I know you're too stupid to make it yourself. That is a great question. This Uruk's been killed! <laughs> oh, 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 no, he. Oh. We don't need crawl so you can play with it. We leave it out so we can drink it. Uh no. Cross play! What did you call it? served and made him rich for a week! Oh, hello. You're dead. <laughs> No, you heard nothing. Cut me down or kill me. I would pour I don't care which. You drink There's been a murder here. Yeah. Tell the difference. Thank you. Did I just hear <laughs> something? No. Okay, so there. There's poison grog. That's another barrel, I believe, over that way. Please, let me have some of your bread. No, get your own. I need this to last the rest of the week. Um, there we go. Okay. There's another slave Last there. Gonna force me a bigger play. <laughs> I need to drink this. Uh, yeah, the camera's a little bit awkward. Dude, stop fighting, Ranger! Where'd you find poison, slave? Oh, you think it saw me? Well, I guess they saw me. Oh, that, hey, that counts as a stealth. Yep, some more guys. Okay. In the meantime... And there's elf shot up there. Okay, got that. So there's another dude over there, but we won't worry about him. What did you 
hood in Master's robe. That filth you served him made him wretch for a week. Hey, over here. Excuse me, sir. Freedom. Another slave free. And, uh, hmm. In the meantime, let's, uh, open the category cage. Maybe. Or, I could, uh, shoot the fire and hopefully not kill the slave. Psst! Ranger! Help us! Yeah, there's not, there's not really, uh... We're free! A corpse, and it's one of us! Yep. We need help! Yep, don't worry, guy. I'm here. All right. Thank you, Ranger. Take my advice. You want to make these Uruk angry? Tamper with their grog. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that necessarily. Oh, there's a group of guys. I don't necessarily mind fighting a bunch of dudes, but let's just, uh... Okay, where am I going now? Um... No, I don't think any of them are. I mean, I... It's fine. We'll just head for the um, story mission. Oh, there's another uh, another slave mission, or um, you know, another way to free the slaves. Anyway. Someone sneaking about. Yep, something like that. I just attracted you. Now you're gonna die. Borrowed blades is all they to save us. Oh, I see. Okay. We want to fight back. They even stole some weapons. They took my friends. That's a little bit. A little ways away. Oh, hey. A well-trained hunter makes a perfect killing machine. Okay. All right. Yeah, and, and I suppose I could, um, hmm. Oh, this takes out the war chief, right? Wait, there's another war chief? There's two war chiefs now. Are there? Is his precious? Hmm. What is that? What are those locks? Oh, cardigan cages? That's fine. You. you are up. Okay. We will go up. Oh, hey. Who are you? Why is it green? Why is the skull green? Sniffer can smell enemies who are hiding nearby. Uh, vulnerable. Combat finishers. Well, can I just can I do this? I'm too smart for that trick. Well, on the other hand, before we do this, I have to ask. You got any grub? Um, if I do. Talk to me, dude. Tell me your secrets. What? Look at this. There's more dudes. And he's rat lug. Okay, so I guess they're just gonna get promoted. Just straight up. Okay, angry about having to care for a cage category. I guess I understand. Okay, in the meantime.
time. Give me one good shot. Because one good shot is all I need. Yes, that's what you say. I see you training. Oh, hang on. Alright, let's. Bard blades. The outcasts were beaten down after stealing swords from the Uruk. Now it's time to fight for them. For the blades? Or for the slaves, I guess. Kill three Uruks with brutal eyes from above. And how do I do that? I guess we'll use the zip line. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that doesn't count. Okay. It's not really a stealth kill, I don't think. This eh. Uruk's been what was that noise? Hush. Okay, I need to get to the slaves, so I need to get up. Yeah, it's probably about right. Maybe. Okay, how do you brutalize from above? I don't think anything was ever there. Well, I hope you're right. What was you gonna do with those malays? You gonna stick me in my sleep? Dirty coward. I think something just moved. Kanagor, go. I choose you. A corpse. I like the sound of that. Did that work? Yep. Here they come. Maybe. Oh no, a category. Next time I'll get There are others nearby. Please help, Ranger. Yep, working on it. Okay, that's that guy's down. Okay, so I should be able to get this dude. Cut me down! This pain will kill me. Well, they're still fighting, and then there's more meat near where I'm at. So I can always oh there's another there's a more guy fly or whatever they're called. More guy fly nest. Okay. Another slave is over that way. Do I wanna dominate? Uh, not just yet. Where's this guy? Right there. Hmm. Oh, there is a brutalize from above. How do I do that? Hmm. It's gonna fall, right? There we go. Oh, they killed the guy. That's how. Kind of... Are you really here to save us all? Yep. Don't some... give up. Thank you. When you pick up a weapon, you'd better be ready for war. Are you ready, slave? Um. Well, if they're gonna do it in the middle of that stuff, I would argue that they're probably just gonna get killed. Too many who are talking about his sorcery for it to just be a rumor. A few stolen swords, and you think you can beat us? We are Uruk. You are nothing. Well, they're slaves, that's for sure. Uh, 
Okay, another category. Oh, hey. Hey there, fella. Oh, hey, that works. Boom. You get down, so we got one left. But I'm gonna interrogate you because I need more intel on these jokers. Okay, back up. Kill three rooks with brutal eyes. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Or how that's supposed to work, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Another one of you. Okay. Is that you, Ranger? Come me down quickly. I'm on it. Okay. Next. Thank you, Ranger, but I'm going back. We mean to steal those weapons and rise up against the orcs. Fair enough. Ah, oh, here's some intel. Helpless. Tell me about... You, Snagog Hellhawk. Looking for a reason to start a brawl with a weaker Uruk. Okay. Whoa. Yep. Don't uh don't see me there, guy. Oh, hang on. Oh, he's uh he's afraid of me. Works for me. I'll just uh you know, I'll just finish taking care of you. Okay, we're gonna head for Man, look at all those missions. Let's head for this one. Prepare to accompany Lothariel deep behind enemy lines into the heart of Mordor. Yep, I'm pretty sure... Hmm. So that's gonna be interesting. Is it a whole new map? I don't know why they're running from me, but... Oh, well, oh, he's going for the slave. Is it too late to dominate the guy? Where is the category? There we go. Yeah! Ride the pig! By the way, if you guys haven't seen Invader Zim, I highly recommend it. Tutorial, new region. Okay. Starting this mission will take you to a new area. You can return to Odun any time from the map by fast traveling to, uh, I guess those are the Towers of the Teeth or whatever they're called. The Black Gate, perhaps. Each area has its own army. What does that mean? A messenger. Prepare to accompany Lothariel deep behind enemy lines into the heart of Mordor. I accept. Look at all the smell of fresh meat always attracts the scavengers. And they tend to travel in packs. You should leave now. Okay, tell me she's not the new love Queen interest. Will be pleased to see you. No, I'm, I'm serious. He better not. Because he watched his wife and son just get killed. It's way too soon. We are here. Well, this is clearly not Mordor.
Lady Marwen, Queen of the Shore. Hmm. Well, she's supposed to be a witch. A fallen ranger from the Black Gate. Come closer. She looks crazy. Your daughter claims you have something for me. Not for you, Talia. The hour grows late. Very soon, the Dark Lord and his army will march all over Mordor. But a great power can be awakened to prevent it. Shoot, so she can see Celebrimbor. Breach into Morgoth's scar. Take the elven craftwork from the ghouls and find the dwarf. Hmm. Is she dead? No. Stay strong, mother. your mother's affliction no one knows she worsened after her travels is there not medicine there was but our camp was overrun but uh well i assume her Yeah, I, I assumed her thing was because of her powers, like her powers. We need to find the way to Morgoth's Scar. There's a good chance we can pick up the ghoul's trail at that ransacked caravan we passed earlier by the ravine. Okay, new map. Right, I assumed, I mean, I guess she is actually sick, but I, I had assumed that her powers were what um, was killing her, like her, you know, using the her seer abilities. Um, and okay, so we're gonna run. I mean, that's my dad, that ranger that jumped out on me from a my eyes Now, Grimbus, hobbits love mushrooms. Being discerning about mushrooms, they would not eat. eat. Algorimbus. This foul tasting toadstool holds little appeal as a foodstuff. It is edible, filling, and little more. The dwarves use Nagrimbus as a ration for troops on long marches, but only as a last resort. As a result, some call it dwarves bread, but only as an insult to both bread and dwarves. The cap of Nagrimbus can be applied to burn wounds, and its consumption can temporarily increase one's stamina. Otherwise, this fungus is best left to orcs and perhaps starving ghouls. Wow. Well, yeah, I guess if you have to eat it, then there you are. All right, weapons and runes. Picked up a bow. Uh, you recover four elf shot on a drain, but we have this one, so you know what? Scrap you. Uh, not nothing yet. Oh, but we're we're getting closer. And then the next thing is seventeen fifty, which is eh. Although if we use that um shadow strike, then max health. Yeah. So we're basically a while from getting any any upgrades. Okay. Ward. Hmm. Well, yeah, we're just gonna restore this thing. 
It's interesting that the thing is reforged. A citadel from the ancient world. Secrets seen only by my eyes. Yep. Oh, and pulling all the things in. That's cool. That must be where the caravan was wrecked. In the meantime... Let's, uh... Grab this fulfilled. How does the Queen know of your past? Ancient knowledge lays unseen by all but spirits. She can see into both worlds. Then perhaps she will lead us to what we seek. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Ah, there it is. Uh, if you want to climb. Nani here, Gelar Mordor. Okay. I'm really curious what the center is. The others are this way. Since we're so close, let's just go for them. Nature thrives in Nern. I never thought I'd see such life in Mordor. This is how the Dark Lord shall feed his armies. World in their image. Yep. Blackened and blighted. How? Thank you, Ranger. You're welcome. Okay, there's that other thing. And then... Her eyes were able to see your true form. She wants the maker of the rings of power to awaken. What does that mean? She wants the maker of the rings of power to awaken. I mean, I understand it's the dude. Oh, there we go. By the white waters of the river unclean. By the colors so many they burn bright. May none and now look to Marwen, to my gift of second sight. May the elements of earth, fire, air form gateway to worlds unseen. Spirits of Valinor, hear my prayer and grant great power new to the shores, Queen. Interesting. And, uh, also, I think that was Claudia Black, if, if I'm remembering her name right. Her voice is very um, particular. I really like it a lot, but unfortunately it does, um, does kind of stand out. You know, so it, like it fits really well, but then you hear it and you're like, oh, that's Claudia Black, not the character. So, oh well. Uh, okay, Ritual Cup, a relic of the Free Men of Nern. This cup would be used in many rituals, including consecration ceremonies and matrimonies. Traditionally, the cup would be filled with bitter waters from the Sea of Nernen, waters which would then be poured on an item or person as a blessing, or on the ground to give thanks. With, with, Queen, with Queen Morrowind's mysterious malaise, the cup has been used in, in increasingly, increasingly more bizarre and disturbing rites. Hmm. Well, don't drink seawater. That will not end well for you. It, uh... These tribesmen are desperate. They will do anything to resist the Uruks. I fear Lethariel will never surrender. Her honor will doom them all. Why would you surrender to the Uruks in the first place? I mean, they, they told you themselves all that's left for you is a life of toil and slavery. Okay. <clears throat> I assume that's Celebrimbor. In the middle. Okay, and... Ah, here we go. Okay, survival challenge. To... Binuel. To, uh, you know, that other thing, Alfrin. Okay, and there's Intel, and... Another artifact. There's a bunch of orcs over there. I don't know why. Oh, well, around a fire. It's, uh... No more orcs.
do you suppose the orcs dream? Meat and slaughter, pain and misery. I expect they don't dream at all. They haven't the heart for it. Oh yes, they do. They dream of their dark lord's shadow, spreading relentlessly across. You know, it's interesting because they're talking about dreaming and, and dreaming of the Dark Lord's shadow. And it's, it's really interesting how much um, inspiration Lord of the Rings just brought to the medium. I mean, it might have created the whole medium itself, but um, just hearing about the orcs dreaming reminds me of, um, uh, was it Dragon Age? Where the Darkspawn dream of... Uh, the dragon. So, kind of, you know, kind of the same thing, really. Who's this now? Someone had been bandit. Name's Forlun or Gorfab or something. He was screaming for his wife. <laughs> the boys laid into him a bit. Or in a bit, he dead? Nah. The boys know the big man powerful living and wants a word. His sack of dung might know where his thief pals are hiding. Strip him down. Take the ring, too, and give it to the boss. He likes that stuff. And when he wakes up... Yeah, probably won't go well for him. This ring was given to the un uh, uh, unhappy bandit Frolum by his beloved wife as a symbol of their undying love. It was violently pulled from Frolum's hand, along with his index finger, after his capture by the Dark Lord Sauron's minions. Sauron would use this ring to torment Frolum into betraying his comrades. Huh. Like, like voodoo, almost. Voodoo. Oh wait, we have a. Uh, Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to... And nothing these Uruk will not desecrate. For them, beauty exists only to be destroyed. Okay, there's one of those white things over this way. Hopefully not too far. Uh, where is it? Right here-ish. There it is. Ability point. Winning all. Have I not collected that before? Ah, okay. Gwinuel is more commonly known as the Twilight Vine. Its delicate white flowering blooms are five pointed and remarkably star like. It's interesting to note Gwinuel is common throughout Middle Earth, but never grows to a height taller than a dwarf. Twaller, yeah. It also never grows where ivy does, although this peculiarity may be entirely entirely coincidental. Herbalists know to collect the plant's flowers before they are in full bloom. You use them in concoctions to cure colds and unblock stuffed noses. Hey, I could use some of that. The vines themselves have some value as a binding agent as well. Properly stripped, the vines can be cut and applied to wounds as makeshift bandages. Neat. And upgrade. Ah, ha ha ha. All right. Um... That would be awesome. What? Yeah, I think I need this one, though. If I'm going to do the Graug thing. Or, you know, need this as well. So I'm going to hold off for the time being. Although some of these are awesome. Okay, in the meantime... Let's head um, this way and find that caravan. Okay, I did see a fire. Yeah. Oh, that guy's still alive, though. That's a shame. Oh, not for long. And you, on the other hand, 
wonder if it was green for a second, the, the reticle. Because... I thought I heard something. Rats. Must have been rats. Yep. Definitely. You There's... still want to fight? Oh. Someone's killed him. What was that? Well, come on then. Okay, and there's one of those gold ones. Oh, sorry. Sorry, um, you know, guy. Right on, Alfred. I'm pretty sure I've gotten that before, or not. The Neverfade, Alfred, is a remarkably durable plant with a year long life cycle. In bloom, it produces a brilliant gold yellow and bell shaped flower that loses neither its color nor its petals for the duration of its life. Alfred's nectar is delightful and said to attract bees for miles. Further, it is also prized by elves and hobbits because it can be made into fine, delicious syrup that is said to promote vigor and robust health. Some eschew the eating of the syrup and instead use it medicinally as it can be applied to wounds to aid in healing and eliminating scars. Okay. Either way, it sounds good. And let's see. Well, we'll go this way. Because the caravan is right there. And there's some intel of some sort. Tark scum witchery. I think they're talking about me, guys. Okay, yeah, they're not talking. They're not kidding about the whole army. Mozu the Amputator. Sick of waiting. Ready for combat. Bodyguards 3. Oh, neat. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna have to kill a bunch of dudes. So many dead Uruks. I must thank the ghouls before I slaughter them. Ghouls are scavengers. They take all, but leave one thing behind. I must locate the ghouls' tracks. Oh, uh, they take all. Talk about bodies, or leave behind bodies. Is it gonna... What was that noise? It is your doom. I am in your debt. Yep. Go for it, guys. Okay, so these are the... our trail. Ghoul tracks. Thanks for playing, stranger. If I could, um... Oh, are they... Whatever. Okay. Oh, hey. I could yell for help like a man. Okay, so where did the tracks go from here? This Uruk's dead! No, not anymore. I mean, yeah, they still are. Oh, interesting. Freedom! Sorry, guy. Nice! Got him in the air. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so I need this gold one too, right? Uh, no, I need the white. Right, right. Wraith World. Okay. See the categories. Uh, you know what? We're going to. Hmm. I guess wait for the categories to fight those guys. Oh, it's a category. No. It's kind of creepy. Um, you know, jumping off and not seeing anything. Grab him. I need more intel. Aha. Tars the knife. Ordering the deaths of his enemies from the safety of his stronghold. Interesting. More main missions. 
or main mission related, I should say. We're free! Yep. Don't get eaten by the categories. Okay, I believe it's this white one. Yep, okay, so I just need the gold sweat. Things. Why don't he just show himself? Who says he's even close by? They might, they might be talking about me. Yeah, see, that's kind of creepy because you can't see anything and you just like jump off the edge. This hollow bleeds with death. And this must be Morgoth's scar. Why didn't they just tell me where it was? Oh, maybe they didn't know. I don't, I don't know. I recognize that ghastly stench. Nightcrawlers. Okay. Reach the vision artifact without triggering the ghoul swarm. How, um... How do I avoid that? Belly of the beast, stealth is my best weapon. Okay, agreed. Hey, this is a cool little area. Okay, so that, yeah, you're uh, just not gonna be able to go that way. On the other hand, um, hmm. staying high will keep me out of sight. Agreed. Okay. Oh. Okay. So it wants me to do the shadow strike thing, right? Can't uh, hmm. can't just go. I don't. I don't remember how to do it. Uh, appendices, people lore, visions, tutorials. That was strict. And tap A. That's what I was doing. But you have to actually target somebody, I guess. Well. Okay, they didn't see me, so it's fine. Right, we're still going this way. I see. Okay. Yep. Ghouls fear fire as much as light. Those flames might prove useful if we are overwhelmed. Yep. Oh, and there's a thing right over there. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to... without triggering the swarm. Um, am I gonna have to come back in here, I suppose? I guess the question is, can I just shoot them? And then, well, the problem is if I shadow strike over there, how do I get back? Oh. And then, okay, nice. will become my tomb. Oh, I wonder if you could have opened... Oh, crap. Well, 
You mean like that, huh? Okay, good work. Good work, guy. Alright. Now... Okay, they're staying away from the light. I think that's what they were talking about. Yep. Oh no, we're not gonna run. Not if we can help it. And that's... How do I... Of course they're grabbing the artifact. Brother! Brother, where are you? Bloody crowd, don't be senseless! And, uh... That sucks, but I understand the pain of fighting Graug. Okay, Bloodstained Buckler. Dwarven made and built to withstand great amounts of punishment, this wood and steel buckler served its user well. Many marks and scorings hint to its usefulness in combat, but the bloodstains are perhaps an indication of a grim outcome for the, for the dwarf who carried it into battle. Yeah, it didn't, uh, didn't work out well. He lost his brother. Hunter and hunted. Death takes them all. Yep. Okay, now how? Uh, I guess I just shoot that dude? Or... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to, uh... I assume I'm going to have to fight my way out. A treasure room. Your heirloom must be here. Maybe. Yeah, and there's a lot of light. But who made these fires in the first place? Oh, the actual... thing. Made by the Dark Lord himself. I'm still covering in my family's blood. So, the Dark Lord made the hammer. Shadow Strike, because, you know. Okay. Oh, ouch. Okay, so. Can't stun it. Ouch. 
Ah, oh, jeez. This thing's tough. Come on, man. Oh, come on. Kill me. The storm is past. The danger. Yeah. Okay. New objective: escape the cave. We must escape this darkness. Okay. I'm glad I picked up the stuff on the way. Those fires will stop them. Kill thirty ghouls with fire. Oh, ouch. Poisoned, huh? Can I climb? If I could climb... Come on, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, well... Maybe I'll... Hold the bolt to fire and explosions. Okay, ouch. There we go, well. The entrance is done. The souls are owned if we don't reach it in time. Oh, hang on. Okay, uh, this way. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. That's the entrance right there, man. Just run for it. Uh, yeah. your military career inside the belly of a ghoul, eh? I'm Torvin, the beast hunter. And I bet ten pints you just now have the treasure I was after. Now, I am grateful for the assistance, but it does not grant you proprietary rights. <laughs> Keep it! I just found something a lot more valuable. <laughs> and what would that be? You. A new hunting partner! Oh. Uh, what you hunt does not interest me, Master Dwarf. Even if it leads you to the chisel that belongs to that hammer. Every creature's got its lure. Yours just happens to be uh, very old. Well, if the thrill of the hunt takes your fancy, the camp's not far. Find the dwarf. Found him. Yeah. What of your vision, Celebrimbor? I used all that he had taught me and forged the three in secret. Water, air, and fire. Three... what? Three other rings? Well, now. I see. Power of the Wraith. Complete more main missions. Or Queen of the Shore. Knows what the power of the Wraith. And that is... More artifacts from Celebrimbor's past. I see. If you want to... Yeah. Udun. And you got more... Yep. Warchief. Recruitment. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, um, well, I think we are going to stop here today. Look at that fine-looking fellow.
How's he my current nemesis? Well, anyway. yeah, what happened to that? Because I thought the ones I killed came back. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, um, so seriously, thanks for your time. Thanks for your attention. Um, I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm enjoying playing this game a lot. And, um, yeah, I mean, Middle Earth is, is very interesting. Uh, but anyway, if you have any comments or feedback, let me know. I'm, I'm eager to hear them. All right, guys. Thanks again. Take care.